the economy would be fine if the government could sit down and come up with a list of priorities and decide we need to reform entitlements, we need to reform certain subsidies. There's a lot of things that Congress could do. The problem, I think, is that these are long-term issues and the pressure on them to solve them is not great. You know, everyone loves a deadline. I, I don't, but a lot of people find it impossible to work unless they have a deadline. And what's happened here is that Congress and the administration will talk about something, but they won't do anything about it until they're actually forced to at the point of a gun or at the point of a law that's about to expire uh, with the authority to do things. So the real problem is that the politicians can't get their acts together. Again, to the, the administration, uh, they appointed, the president appointed a debt commission. Right? How to get rid of the debt. They came up with a report. Do we do anything with the report? No. Congress says, well, we'll only fix the problem if we get what we want. The Republicans say, well, only if we can get rid of the Affordable Care Act. If, only if you do what we want. So, you know, it's hard for politicians to make these choices. What you found, what's interesting, in some of the, in Europe a couple of times, in Italy and in Greece, they appointed non-political technocrats to run the country. Now, we don't have that kind of system. It couldn't work here. But you notice that in, in Italy, when they had a non-partisan prime minister, a guy who was who is an academic and an, an international civil servant, they passed a lot of good reform legislation, but as soon as he came up for re-election, he didn't get re-elected. So maybe it's not the politicians, maybe it's the people who elect them. Maybe we aren't tough enough. Maybe we don't expect our politicians to make the tough choices. Politicians are supposed to govern. They're not supposed to just tell us what we want to hear. And we, as citizens, ought to be electing people who are making tough choices, and they can explain it to us and say, you know, this might hurt your pocketbook today, but in the longer run, it's going to be good for the economy, and that's what we need to build a strong country.